welcome back to Good Day Stateline. Anne didn't go anywhere, but she did get some more friends. She traded Josh in for some little creatures uh, from the Burby Museum, of course. So, Anne, what do we got? This is uh, Sikori, Europlate Sikori. So he is a mossy leaf tail gecko. So one of the things that makes him pretty yeah. special is his tail is shaped like a leaf. And there's a fact, a whole genus of these guys that are found only in Madagascar that don't have the snake-like prehensile tail. They have this little flat tail. Um, now this guy, he's nocturnal. So his eyes right now, oh, that was pretty cool. His eyes are, <laughs> didn't go for you though. <laughs> his you. eyes are uh, super constricted right now. Is so you can concerned? see that little tiny line. He might not be able to see super well. That's oh, kind of why cool. he's jumping <laughs> with all the lights. Now this guy, also from Madagascar, is really cute. He's a tomato frog, and um, he is not super active. No. These guys, they're voracious eaters. Put a little, um, <laughs> when he'll sit there and a little tiny um, cricket will go by him and he'll go right after that. These little side parts I feel like are so cute though. Um, tomato frogs will get a little bit bigger than that, but they don't get huge. Uh, and they are carnivores, just like this guy. Both of them are carnivores. So I'm going to trade these How guys in. How are they carnivores? In. Well, They're they so eat small. insectivores. Oh. <laughs> so they'll, they'll eat insects. How do they eat cheeseburgers, Anne? <laughs> <They're laughs> we've, so we've got a bigger one, though. Let's trade uh, them out. Oh, no, now, we're this guy doesn't already. have any eyelids. Um, he has, he'll lick his eyes because he has a small scale covering his eyes. Mm -hmm. um, he'll lick his eyes if, like, water droplets come on there. But we have another little guy that's got some Josh, really cool eyes. Don't hand that to me. <laughs> <laughs> And Josh is bringing in our baby. This like, is, the tomato frog yeah, doesn't scare me because I like tomatoes, but. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is banana split. Oh, yeah. No, ah. banana split. <laughs> we can just encourage it. There just you go. Make, poor Josh. Didn't know you were going to be the star, did you? Come on, buddy. Yeah, he's, he's super active. <laughs> okay, so we're this back to baby. banana split. This is your daughter's favorite, right? It is. From it's my daughter's right favorite. She's a baby ball python. And we're bringing her out as an example of what these guys look like when they're little. Now, the other python we're going to bring is actually not a ball python. It's another species of python. But um, these guys get a lot bigger. And one uh -huh. of the problems that people run into is they get these pets. And they think, oh, it's so cute. I'm going to have this guy as my pet. And then they get bigger and bigger and start eating this more This guy more. or this guy stays this small? This one will get about six feet, probably, when That's she's full grown. That's a whole person. But that is pretty huge. Um, and so why, I'm, why I'm, I'm Josh, so afraid to even look to Josh, my right. Josh, come on over. Before. I heard Josh might not be able to carry whatever is this is scaring me. <laughs> Josh so, is going to have to stay So we're going to bring our other friend on here. And this is Freddie. <laughs> now, Freddie is also a python. This is too much for me. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie is also gotta... a python. Josh, you want to step in this way? Maybe you can just sure. sit in my chair. I have to get off. There we go. You'll be fine. Here we That's go. So think, Josh Anne. is holding Freddie. Now, yeah, he is. Freddie is a, yeah, he is. Freddie is a reticulated python. Okay. Um, <laughs> there his face is back there. Yeah, he's actually a super big sweetheart. He was part of a, um, a program. And they didn't, he was used for breeding for a short period of time, in fact, because he's so beautiful. Oh, so, so pretty. He, <laughs> so he is, um, he's going to eat he our a bowl. python. This is what these guys are full grown. He's about five or six years old. You can hear him kind of sighing. Yeah. That's because um, he doesn't like snakes, me. no, 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 he's just breathing <laughs> and he's smelling. So in fact, um, he smells you or yeah. me or whatever is around here he's using this table as what we call an anchor point okay and then he's going to be me able to too. move his body around, <laughs> his body around so i think you probably are brave enough to give him a good pat over maybe here maybe over here but like his face i'll keep his face with me. me i mean there you go okay, ready. so he's pretty strong and he's not slimy he's not but he i'm so sweaty right now <laughs> <laughs> he's a very so he's a very big sweetheart um, we do be careful, obviously, we don't want him wrapped around yeah. anyone's <laughs> neck. Um, he eats uh, rats, chickens. Not people. Not, not people. Good. No, he doesn't. He's in, and he's a huge sweetheart. Um, he does have a great heat sensing ability. They can actually perceive infrared uh, waves, so uh -huh. he can perceive whether you're warm blooded or not. If he's in a totally dark room, he could tell if a warm mouse ran across or rat ran across, he could see that. Snakes don't have phenomenal vision. Um, and they, in fact, don't even have, the, he can't hear us. He can feel the vibrations from yeah. us, but the main way he's getting a sense of what we're doing is the way you and I smell. Oh. Um, and that's why you can hear him, like, yep. sighing like that. He's like a puppy sniffing he's around. Just like a puppy, really. <laughs> <laughs> I want to cuddle with him. figure out what you're doing. So uh. um, these guys actually the, um, are, are not local. And sometimes people will get these guys as pets because they do, in some ways, make 
make good pets. But sure, not not for a family that's not accustomed to something of this size. You know, he needs a lot of space. Yeah. When he gets a bath or likes to go in a pool, we put him in like a full baby pool. Really. Um, and when you come to the museum, he's often out um, mm -hmm. taking a bath or or interacting with people, and he. We feed them at the museum too, mostly on Thursdays. Okay, good so, to know. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of coming to the museum, like is he touching me? <laughs> That's probably his tail. <laughs> so we actually have yeah, our you memberships have on sale right, right now. now. <laughs> yes. So membership to the museum for a whole family is seventy dollars. So okay. you can actually come to the museum as much as you want yes. for just seventy dollars. <laughs> and I'm going to get him up off the floor so you don't have to. Yeah, I don't there want you to. Go. Hey. You can see him at the museum as well as over uh, 60 different reptiles and amphibians. Right? Yes, absolutely. And we have a small discount, 20% um, off right now. On um, he's, he's reaching around Yeah, my don't head, strangle like him. Um, We're good. <laughs> we, we, we can find all the information that we need at uh, burpee.org. Burpee and our, our discount is going on <laughs> right now for memberships, so we're looking forward to seeing you at the museum. Yeah, okay. This reptile and amphibian exhibit goes through uh, December, and then we'll have a last goodbye over Christmas break. We'll not be in the reptile and amphibian room. It'll be sort of a separate celebration during the Christmas um, Christmas holidays. So we look forward to seeing you at Burpee. All right, Anne's going to take the snake and off I of her. And I think you want to hold it. Oh, I do out, not. Right? <laughs> we don't have any more time. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. Let's see what's going on around town. <laughs>